bang neves knives i'm jared and we have probably the biggest folder i've felt at least in a long time this thing is a beast this is the gray man satu and i normally don't do size comparisons but before we get started you gotta understand the size of this thing here is a hinder xm 24 not the xm 18 the 24 and you can see this is far bigger than the 24 in every dimension here is the xm 18 Yes, it is a lot bigger. And yes, I know what's going on with Hinder right now. It sickens me. I hate it. But uh, yeah. Next, we have a Medford USMC fighter. And it is even bigger than that. And this is a beast. This is a big knife. Um, uh, something of normal size really quick. This is the... Chris Reeve Knives, Sabenza 21. And yes, it is just an absolute monster of a knife in every dimension because it's not just the length, it's the width, the size, the thickness, the everything. We have a 20 CV drop point recurved blade, USA made. So Grayman Knives, Grayman Knives mostly makes fixed blades. They do have a smaller version of this called the Dua or something like that. Anyways, um, the Grayman's Satu is the name of this. And they originally were making them for law enforcement and military. But then they, I think, started making them for the public now, I don't think they're making these anymore. However, they are still making uh, fixed blades and things like that. And these do pop up on the secondary market and you can still find them on play at places. Now, the size, thickness, heft of this thing, it is a monster. But even though it is a monster, I mean, it's definitely overbuilt. It's not practical, but it is badass all the way around and that's what i love about it because of the because of the ergos you know and it being so comfortable in the hand you could get some real hard work done with this now the jimping is a little dramatic um kind of medford like where you know it's a little overdone i don't care if it's for gloves or you know you should never intend a knife to only be used in gloves but either way though even if that was the purpose it's still a little much but it's not too crazy like i can hold it like this and i'm it's sharp but it's not too bad and i'm just fine with it and i got you know i got pretty tough skin i imagine anybody else you know buying or using something like this is also going to have tough skin very smooth it does have phosphor bronze washers you can flick it and reverse flick it some people it might take a little wrist to do but it's very smooth it's just a very heavy blade and the detent is not super strong but you don't want a blade this heavy with a super strong detent it works just fine now the scales are all titanium titanium frame lock no lock bar insert it's probably carbonized but when you have thick slabs of titanium like this you don't necessarily need a titanium insert if it's done right as long as the geometry is done right it's carbonized things like that um, now the insides are not milled at all it is super solid also adds to the weight of this thing the blade is just ridiculously thick even the geometry this would have been way better as a hollow grind but you know with the right angle put on here for the edge it will it'll cut like a champ it'll cut just fine you have so much leverage with you know the ergos it'll cut great access to the lock bar super comfortable they put a nice chamfer chamfered edge right here i love this machining right there too this looks really good but because there's such a big gap in between the scales it's a nice comfortable um disengage huge stop pin love the size of the stop pin i always complain about small stop pins not in this case the acoustics i love the sound of the lock just engaging
love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, now the clip, spring clip, that left you plenty to grab onto, and a clip like this is probably going to be best with a knife this size because <laughs> you want it to be secured, and you want to be able to securely get it out, get it in your hand, get it deployed, and into action. So, very awesome. And this thing is, you know, also kind of a hammer. Um, I, I'm, I'm obviously joking, but, I mean, it's so heavy and so weighty. I have no doubt you would have no problem, um, you know, breaking a window or something like that with this. I mean, I know I could for sure. Um, but anyways, not what it's intended for. Well, maybe it is kind of because it is made for law enforcement and military. Uh, maybe a little big and a little overboard for things like that, but eh, yeah, to each their own, right? You never know. Nice, gigantic hardware. I love that. Now, my two complaints. I have two complaints that... I, you know, I'm just going to say right off the bat, one is the stop pin location. I don't like the stop pin landing right behind the edge like that. Now, there's plenty of edge to sharpen off, and this is so thick. You're going to want to lay back the angle a little bit, and, you know, it, it winds up hitting. You can see the line if you look. It's like right here. So I wish that that stop pin was dropped down farther so that if you wanted to put a finger choil in, you could, or if you want to sharpen off, or if you have to sharpen off a lot of steel or get a regrind and put a hollow grind on it or anything like that, you have the ability to without worrying about messing with the, 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 the stop pin um, interface. Not that big of a deal, you know. I don't think... Uh, well, most people probably wouldn't change it or sharpen off too much steel or add in a choil or anything, but I just like having the ability to if I want to. Um, the next thing was, um, what was the next thing? Can't even, oh, the thumb studs. So, the thumb studs a little slick. So, I can obviously use it, but it is a little slick. Um, you have to get behind it or right on top of it. And... I prefer, I would just prefer getting studs like this, something just like this, where they're nice and tall, right? But it has a landing zone on the side where you can push off and put your finger right on top. You can do both comfortably. I think a thumb stud like that would be great. But these are custom made, I think. I'm not, you know what? I'm not even sure who makes them. Um, I think another company is OEMing them from or for Grayman knives, but they're not doing them in anymore. But regardless, I'm not sure. Uh, but I would want different thumb studs. Um, I'm just not a big fan of these thumb studs. Now, Satu Dave is the one. There's no connection there. But Satu Dave is the one who sent this. And I believe it's, it is. Yeah, it's his knife. But they have the same name. <laughs> but Satu Dave... I've been following him for the past month or more, maybe two months, and seems like an awesome dude. Seems like a guy I would get along with very, very well. Um, I love his um, unapologetic attitude, so I'm going to link his channel down in the description if you guys want to go and follow his content. Um, beast of a knife, man. <laughs> Knives like this just put a smile on my face, you know. Yeah, they're not always practical, but they are badass and they're fun you know and something that uh, the usa has been known for is this overbuilt beasts of knives and yeah and, and it is still functional you know because it's so comfortable in the hand being you know the thickness it is and the depth it is um i would have no problem you know pushing this through materials with the right edge angle which would be no problem i would prefer a hollow on it but regardless this is you know it's not trying to be anything but badass you know heavy duty badass it is definitely overbuilt and it's going for overbuilt it's not trying to be your lightweight edc knife and they do i will say this too you can i think right now on their website they have fixed blades available and their fixed blades look badass they look um how can i put it they look military ready type fixed blades um if i'm just trying to think of a best way to put it without um 
without showing you pictures. Maybe I'll just show you pictures. But they, they look like they are ready for the battlefield type of knives. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. Just a quick look at this beast. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.